What's up guys? This is going to be a quick video going over trading view and how to use trade evade with trading view. So, first you're going to load up trading view. This is trading view, the app. And basically you're able to you press the buy or sell button. If you press the buy or sell button, this screen should pop up. If it does not pop up, you can press the trading panel and it will pop up or you can drag this all the way up it might be hidden just drag this up and this is where you can connect through your brokerages so the brokerage that we get through apex trader fund is trade of eight and that is starred for me it's right here it's the blue t icon it's trade of eight and what we're going to do is select trade of eight and before we log in we're going to make sure that our trade of eight is um allows access for trading view. So how to do that, we're going to go to the trade of eight website, we're going to the trade of eight website. We're also going to load up the apex trader funding website. Okay. And this is my girlfriend's account. I'm going to take her login, copy the username for trade of eight. This is where you get the trade of eight account login information. I'm going to log in with that account information on the trade of eight website. So I log into the trade of eight website, access simulation, the top right, go into application settings. The top right, it's the three lines. It says application settings. We'll select that. It brings us to settings. Then we have all of these options. We're going to go over the far right, not API access, but add-ons. We're going to add-ons. Under add-ons, there's trading view and all this other stuff. All you need to do is activate trading view. Mine, hers is already activated, so I don't need to do it, but if you're just trying to log in for the first time on TradingView, you're going to have to do this or it won't let you log in. So go over to Trade of Eight, activate this. Once this is activated, we're going to go back to Trade of Eight. And now we're going to copy that and paste that same login information on Trading View. So now we're back on Trading View. And I'm going to copy that. So I'm going to select the Trade of Eight brokerage. I'm going to cop I'm going to paste that Trade of Eight username and the password. And now I'm going to connect. Now to access your accounts. So I'm going to put this window down a little bit. So in the bottom left hand corner here, the bottom left side, we got trade of eight and we have the accounts. So this is the accounts. You can press this little drop down arrow and it will bring up on the right hand side of the account the drop down arrow. This is where you can switch between multiple accounts at one time. So you can switch through all your accounts and um, access up to 20 of your trade of your trade of a apex accounts through this little arrow right here. That is how you access your accounts. Changing the time frame, changing the time frame. the top left hand side up here. There's a five. I'm on the five minute chart. It's right next to the plus compare or add a symbol on the right hand side of that. There's a 5M. That is how you change the time frame of your chart. So if I want to go to the five minute time frame, I'm on the five minute now. If I want to go to the 15 minute, I'll select the 15 minute. And this is how I will change the chart to the time frame that I want. So this is the hourly chart and the daily, and it goes on. That's how it's very simple to change the time frame of your chart. And then to change the ticker you're on. So I am currently on NASDAQ. Let's just go to, so in the top left here, I'm gonna select GC, just to change to gold, the ticker for gold. So I'm currently on NASDAQ, now we're on gold. So the top left hand, top left corner, that is how, where we change our um, ticker. So top left is where we change the ticker. If we wanna have multiple things open at one time, in the top right up here, there's layout setup in the top right where my cursor is. You select this and you can you have all these options for different layouts how you want it. But let's just keep it simple and do the second option, which is this. So now I have two charts loaded up. So now I have NASDAQ here and I have gold here. So if I want to change the ticker for this, I can either select this and type GC. So I'll have two charts open for gold. So now I have two char gold charts open, right? two charts, both are gold. And that's how I have two charts open at one time under the layout setup in the top right. So I'm going to get rid of that go back to one. So now I have one chart open. 
how to enter a position on trading view if that's how you guys are going to place your trades. so if i want to enter a position on one of my accounts i'm going to make sure i have the account selected that i want i'm going to select the account and right now i'm currently on gold i'm on gc1 so let's say i wanted to bet one contract on actually i'm going to go to micro nasdaq just to keep it simple so mnq micro nasdaq i'm on micro nasdaq let's just do one mini actually let's do 10 micros just for just to show you an example so as you see there's a sell button at the top left a red button that says sell and there's a blue button that says buy so if we're if we're in shorts if we're trying to bet on shorts we're going to sell if we're betting on longs we're going to buy so i'm going to put in and to change the amount of contracts you're entering the little middle icon here that says 15 i'm going to press on that it might not say 15 for you it might say one or something but i'm going to select that amount of units and type in the amount that i want so i just typed in 10 now there's 10 units selected for the quantity so now if i were to press buy or sell it's going to enter 10 units to whatever side i am betting on so let's just say we're entering longs let's just enter longs just for fun just to show you an example so i'm going to pull this up just a little bit so you guys can see down here down here under positions positions is where you're going to be able to see your open live positions. so i'm on one of um the evaluation accounts right now i'm just going to buy 10 micro nasdaq contracts so i'm going to press buy now so now i'm in Order 10 filled. units 10 contracts of micro nasdaq it's already up four ticks six ticks 10 ticks and as you can see we're up 50 dollars, 65 dollars down here where my cursor is and this is where you can manage your position and see the quantity. So the quantity right here is the amount of contracts that I'm in. I'm in 10. This is the profit. So now we're down 15 bucks. So this shows the live profit PL on the trade. And then it shows your fill price where you entered the position, the average fill price. That's your entry. So we are down two ticks right now. Only well, now we're up four ticks, up 10 bucks. So that's how you place a trade. Let's say I wanted to scale out of half of my position. So I'm currently in 10 micro NASDAQ contracts betting on longs. So now I want to sell out of five. Let's say, just as an example, let's say we hit our first price target. Now I want to sell half my position. So now I type in five for the quantity because I'm in 10. So half would be five. Type in five. And now I'm going to, since I'm in longs, since we bought 10 contracts, now I'm going to sell five to exit five, to sec exit half of my position. So I'm going to sell five. Once I press this, hold on. Order filled. So there we go. So now it filled me. I exited five. And now I have five contracts left that I'm holding. So now I'm in five contracts. Let's say I wanted to sell three and leave two. Now I'm going to type in three for the quantity and sell three. Order filled. Order filled. And now I'm in two. And now I want to fully exit the position. I'm going to put in two sell two order filled and now i'm fully out of that position and then if you want to see your full account summary and how you where your account is at you go to the account summary on the right the right side of the position so we have positions orders account summary account summary is where you're going to see your total p l on the day and um your total account balance which is twenty four thousand nine hundred and one on this account so that's how you buy and sell a position. So let's enter one more and show another example. So I'm going to enter two micro NASDAQ Order longs. Filled. So now I'm back in. And let's say I wanted to sell, I wanted to set a stop loss and set a take profit. So we have on the right-hand side here, we have a plus, a plus option. So I'm going to find the price that I want. As you can see on the right-hand side, this is the price of NASDAQ. So we are currently at 21,473.75, sorry. So right here is the live price. I'm going to find the price that I want to set my stop loss at. Let's just say 21,460. We'll just use that as an example. So I'm going to find that price. I'm going to right click on that price and I'm going to right here. There's an option that says trade. So you right click or you can press the plus button on the right hand side like this and you'll select trade and then they'll have the option to buy or sell the certain amount of contracts you have entered. So right now I have two contracts entered in my quantity. So it's giving me buy, sell, buy two limit or sell two stop loss. So because I have two contracts selected, let's change it to five. If I change it to five. Now I'll right click anywhere, it doesn't even matter. Right click and put trade. So now it says buy five, sell five. So this is how you set price um, targets, how you sell, how you set limit orders and how you set stop losses. So basically if we're in shorts, if we're in shorts, we are going to, to set a stop loss. 
you're going to buy back. So if we're in shorts and we're betting on the market, that would be selling. So we're selling shorts to stop, set a stop loss where if we hit the price where we're going to exit the position for a loss, we would have to buy back the contract. So we're going to set, so we're in longs right now. So let's use this example. So we're in longs. So we would have to, let's say our stop loss was down here. I'm going to right click, go to trade, and I'm going to sell five if we hit our stop loss. So I'm going to put in sell five, or I'm only in two contracts right now. So for a good example, I'm going to put in two contracts as the unit number. I'm going to right click, go to trade, and I'm going to sell to stop. And this is how you set a stop loss, right? So now my stop loss is set. If it comes down here and hits this, it's going to completely sell me out of my position. And you can adjust the amount of contracts up with the, the units on the top left here. So if I wanted to set a take profit where it will automatically sell for me, I'm going to right click right here and I'm going to go to trade and I'm going to um, sell to as well to fully exit my position. So since we're in longs, we need to sell contracts to get out of our position. If we were in shorts, we need to buy contracts to get out of our position. So that's how you set stop losses and set limit orders, right? So that's that. Let's say we want, so I'm going to exit this position it, to close out, to um, cancel those limit and stop losses. You just press the X and it'll cancel them once they're gone and they don't have the red line anymore. Now you're good. Um, I'm still in this position. I'm just going to close out of this position. You can also press this X to fully Order close. Filled. So now I'm completely out of all my positions and I have no stop losses or take profits set. So now using trend line tool, using some of the tools, this is the trend line tool. And let's say I want to make a trend. So you just select the trend line tool. You can select other tools as well under the lines, but I personally just use trend lines for my trend lines. So you select the trend line tool. You, you find a spot that you want to start the trend. For example, I just started one right here and now you have this line and you can connect trends that way. So that's how you use the trend line tool. And then to set levels, the levels tool, we got a horizontal ray. I use the horizontal ray tool and I will select that and I will use the horizontal ray to find my price. Once I find my price targets, I will left click while using the horizontal ray and it will set down a line. That is how I set levels and use the trend line tool. Um, view, you, you can't copy trade on trading view. If you're trying to copy trade, you need to do it off the trade of eight website. This is how you use the replay option. So on the top left up here, there's replay. If you want to go back and replay the charts, you can use this replay tool and it will go back in time and it'll be paused. As you can see right here in the middle of my screen by my cursor, there's a plus, there's a skip and there's a um, speed of replay. So I can use the select bar. If I press select bar, it'll let me adjust where I want it. So let's say I want it right here. So now I'm going to, I set the market to right here as a replay. So now I'll press the play button and it will replay the market in each candle. And I can change the speed of it and everything through this. So that's how you use the bar replay tool. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it on trading view and the basics of trading view. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. That's trading view.